and um, this is an update video on our Boxster engine that we're working on and um, as you can see we haven't finished it that's why it's all in bits and um, we've got the piston barrels here which um, has the piston com rod I don't know if you can see all that that fits in nicely there then we've got the cylinder heads here we're having to make four or eight of everything um, so you certainly get some practice in and then we have got the valves here that's eight of those and these little cuties which are called the rockers I don't know if you can see that which go into the cylinder heads and hopefully we're going to end up with something like this but it's coming together I'm loving this um, and then we're going to be them we've been working on some other bits and pieces for um, Mabel so that we can it enables us to be able to make things for this box deranging Hi, um, I'm going to run through some of the little bits that we've been making with Mabel on Mabel, um, including the main main thing, which is the die holder. Um, there, I don't know if you can see that turning. This is actually one of the threads that we uh, practice hold on making this Hemingway die holder. The male and female threading and then that goes into that and then you've got the cones there um, beautiful brass knob which I'm very pleased with who doesn't like a brass knob in their life and then we've also what else have we been working on oh angle set so uh, if you shimmy Cross. It's got magnets in the back there and there. And then the Dayton pin here, which always goes in the middle. And then you then have the other pin. These are all five degree holes. There's two that are for setting compounds, but that's on the um, John's YouTube, who he he was the one that actually gives the free um, drawings. Um, so we'll put a link in for you so that you can see if you want to make one of these yourself. But then you so you put the bit of metal in there where you set the angle, then that goes into there, and then obviously it cuts there. But that's a nice bit of kit. Then we've got the Travelling Steady here. This isn't actually finished, but this is another Hemingway kit. We're not sponsored by Hemingway, by the way. <laughs> we just like their little projects. Um, they're, they're a nice distraction when you're um, doing a big project to sometimes have some small projects that you can work on and kind of keeps you keeps your focus oh and then this last bit here which is the saddle stop for the lathe i don't know if you can see that which is the harold hold saddle harold hall saddle saddle stop <laughs> harold hall saddle stop <laughs> i'll have to keep repeating that anyway i'm gonna do come across over to mabel and um we'll show you how this actually works on mabel um, and see you in a moment. Thank you. Bye. We're just about to oil up the new Hemingway die holder that we've finished making. So I'll get it going for you so you can see it in action. Here we go. Oh, look at that. And 
you can also actually see the Harold Hall lathe stop that we did this little side project. If you can see that, I was very happy with that. And then let me show you the Hemingway die holder. That's a wrap for today's adventure in metal engineering. Thank you very much for joining us and hope you'll bear with us and come back and see us soon. Thank you. Bye.